Let me show you how to design this social media post in Adobe Photoshop. Create a new document, size 1080 by 1350 pixels. Now go to View and choose New Guide Layout. Follow these settings. When you finish, press OK. Again, go to View and choose Lock Guides. You can download the images from the link in the description below. Start by dragging the first image to Photoshop. We made these guides because the square part in the middle is the part that will be seen in your Instagram page. In this lower part, you can add your own copyright name. Now let's add a mask to this layer. Choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Set the opacity to 100 and reduce the flow. Set the foreground color to black. Follow this process. We are hiding this part of the image to make it blend with the background. If you want to show parts of the image, just set the foreground color to white and start painting. Now go to adjustment layer and choose black and white. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Go to adjustment layer and choose levels. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Let's add some contrast to the image. Now choose the quick selection tool. We want to select his shirt To remove extra selection, just hold Alt and click where you want to remove the extra selection. When you finish, go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. I am going to choose this purple color. Hold Alt and click here to create a clipping mask. Change the blending mode to color. Reduce the fill. Hold shift and select all of these layers, and let's group them. Rename the group as you want. Drag this image to Photoshop. You can find all of these images in the link in the description below. Go to Filter, Blur. Choose Gaussian Blur. Follow these settings and then press OK. Add a layer mask. Choose the Brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. Follow this process. Drag this image to Photoshop. You can find all of these images in the link in the description below. To remove the black color, change the blending mode to Lighten. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Follow this process. Now choose the Type tool, and let's write our text. Here's the font that I'm using. Follow these settings. Follow these settings. We are trying to put the text in the center of this post. Follow these steps. Let's change the color to yellow. This is the color that I have chosen. Choose the ellipse tool. Let's set the foreground color to white. 
Let's draw an ellipse here like this. Make sure that there is no stroke color. Follow this process. Reduce the fill. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. Follow this process. Choose the Move tool. Hold Alt and drag down to make a copy. Press Ctrl T. Rotate it like this. Follow these steps. Drag this image to Photoshop. You can find all of these images in the link in the description below. Hold Shift and select all of these layers. Press Ctrl T. Let's scale it down a bit while holding the Shift button. Select this text layer, choose the Type tool, and let's align the text to the left side. Follow these steps. Now choose the Type tool, and let's write our text. Follow this process. Follow these settings. Now choose the Type tool, and let's write our text. Follow these settings. Press Ctrl T, scale it while holding the Shift button. Drag this image to Photoshop. You can find all of these images in the link in the description below. Press Ctrl T. Hold Alt and drag down to make a copy. Press Ctrl T. Scale it while holding the Shift button. Go to Filter. Blur. Choose Gaussian Blur. Follow these settings and then press OK. Drag this image to Photoshop. You can find all of these images in the link in the description below. Last step. Choose the Type tool. Let's write these exclamation and interrogation marks. Follow these steps. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. That's it. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.